Nehru started out being much more democratic and parliamentary in a British way than he ended up. So the Nehru premiership was initially very uh, sort of uh, accepting of parliamentary opponents and so on, but increasingly the cult of personality set in. And, uh, you know, Nehru lived in this grand palatial house which had been the residence of the British Commander-in-Chief. It was second only to the Viceroy's house, Rashtra, which became Rashtrapati Bhavan. And uh, it, as you we know now, it's the Nehru Museum and Library. And it's a huge, you know, uh, bigger, uh, as big as any of the old princely palaces. And it became a way of um, Nehru establishing a Mughal-style court there, with Indira being his kind of consort and uh, controlling access to him, and, uh, you know, a small army of secretaries who were also controlling access to him. And so you had to go through all these people to reach him. And, of course, he held grand banquets, state banquets there for visiting dignitaries and um, it was very much like an imperial court and that uh, I think went to his head. He became much more dynastic too because both his sister and his daughter were very close to him and his sister got very plump uh, diplomatic postings. She was not interested particularly in being in Indian politics so she went first as president of the UN General Assembly and leader of the Indian delegation to the UN, then High Commissioner in London, then Ambassador in Moscow, and then in Washington. So she had all the top diplomatic posts. His daughter, uh, uh, increasingly as her marriage with Feroz Gandhi uh, fell apart, lived with her father, kept house for him, initially, you know, became the channel of communication, but then increasingly went into politics on her own behalf. And uh, she became Congress president, as we know, in 1959, uh, when Nehru was prime minister. So it was a bit odd to have a father-daughter. And Nehru maintained it was nothing to do with him that the Congress Working Committee had chosen the best candidate, and that was it. And but nevertheless, he could have said, you know, comparing it with my grandfather forbidding my father to receive examination papers to mark from Bombay University when he had become head of it, saying my family should get no benefits. I mean, Nehru could have been much more, you know, said not in my lifetime. I mean, making my daughter party president when I'm prime minister looks to the whole world, looks as though I'm promoting her as my heir. And already Nehru's uh, health was declining and uh, people were saying after Nehru who. So that positioned her in the succession race. 